Hi, it's Elf from Instro West here. Today we're going to talk about the drug range of temperature baths. Uh, today we've got a TC165 to show you, which is a Pelter block temp bath, so it allows us to get down to negative temperatures to positive temperatures. There are four baths in the drug range for temperature baths. Uh, there's two dry blocks. The dry blocks are a ambient to 650 degree unit, a negative 30 to 165 degree Celsius unit, and then there's two liquid baths. There's a ambient to 255 degree C uh, liquid bath, and then we've got this one that we've got here today, which is the TC165, so it's a peel to block, gets down to negative 30 degrees, and up to a maximum temperature of 165 degrees. When you order the baths, there's a lot of options to choose from. So we've selected what we believe is right for our requirements, and that's what we've got here today, and we'll show you what's in the box. So straight off, the box is an option. So obviously we tick that, it protects our equipment, ensures it'll last for years. It's a big investment, so we wanna make sure that it lasts. Speaking of money, these provide excellent value for money, the truck temp calibrators. So when we open the box, we've got a couple of things. Right here, we've got the calibration certificates, and we've also got the software, should you want to hook up to the bath and do data logging, etc. Also got the instruction manuals. As we always say, make sure you store these away somewhere safe. Okay, we'll pull the unit out. We've got a cable. The cable you get depends on the area in which you're working. So there's different plugins. It's an international model and the option code selects which one it gets. The one we stock here in Australia is obviously the Australian version for 240, 230, 240 volt. Okay, so here's our temp bath, but let's have a look at some of the accessories and other features. Straight off, because this is a liquid bath, you notice we've got a lid. So we can leave the liquid in here Close our lid, it seals, and the liquid will remain uh, safe and won't spill during transport from job to job. We've also got a little cage in here, and that stops our uh, temperature elements, our RTDs and thermocouples, actually going down and hitting the stirrer. Okay, and we've got a, it's a magnetic stirrer. So in the bottom, we've got a little magnetic uh, pill capsule that spins around. So we've got a magnetic pickup here, so we can fish that out if we want. And there's our stirring. Okay, so we'll drop that back in, put this away, and see what other accessories we've got here. Okay, so one of the benefits of the Druck liquid bath is we can also run it as a dry block. And to do that, we do what we just did. We take the magnetic stirrer out of the unit, like so and then we can drop our dry block in. The dry blocks are optional on your configuration. Uh, the beauty with the liquid bath over the dry bath is, it's, is the, dry, blocks, is the uh, dry block insertions are actually larger, so we can get more holes into it. So this one here we've sized up for what our common requirements are at Instro West, and we've got quarter inch and six mil, we've got three eight inch and 10 mil, and we've got half inch and 12 mil holes. So that should do the majority of the applications we need. Okay. Let's see what else we've got in here. If you want to do multiple elements at the one time, we've got a screw on lid here. So we'll put our bath uh, back in there. And that there can screw on and it stops the liquid splashing or anything like that. We can pull these bungs out and we can now put five individual elements into this bath at, at one time. It's quite handy for speeding calibrations up. If you've got three instruments that are exactly the same next to each other and you want to test them, you can have all three in here at once. Uh, that's one of the benefits of a liquid bath over a dry block. So I'll whack those back in. The other thing we have, obviously because it's a liquid bath, we need a liquid medium. And in this case, it's usually silicon oil. Now, when you order, if you require extra um, silicon oil, 
there's two options to choose from. There's a low temperature version and a high temperature version. So because this is the Pielter block, it goes to maximum 165 degrees, this is the low temperature version. And it's got on the side its recommended temperature. So this is good for negative 35 to 155 easy. And it's got a flash point above 165. The other option is for the liquid bath in the ambient to 255 degree range. It's a, another, again, it's a silicon oil, but it's a slightly different type. So we got that. And lastly, got a big syringe. Now, what we use this for is to get all the oil out of the liquid bath before we put our dry block in. So this enables us, this liquid bath enables us to have the best of both worlds. We can have a liquid bath or a dry block. So what we'll do now is we'll put some liquid in it, we'll power it up, and we'll see what temperature we can bring it down to. Okay, so we've put some silicon oil into our temp bath and we're ready to power it up. So let's power it up. As you can see when we start, it goes through a self-test routine first. Checks everything. Then we can set our set point. This knob here controls our stirrer speed. So we can wind this up and down to adjust the speed. So with our stirrer here, this is our stirrer speed control. As you can see, we wind it up and the stirrer speed in here will increase. So wind it up, 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 off we go. Flat out, that's full speed. So we can adjust our stirrer speed. Okay, so at the moment we've got a 25 degrees set point and we're maintaining 25 degrees. So what we'll do is we'll give it a set point. We'll go down to negative 30 or thereabouts. And you can see here the way it goes. So we're giving a set point of negative 5. Oh, sorry, negative 50. And we'll hear the fans kick in soon. As you can see, the temperature comes down pretty quick. It does make a bit of noise when the fans kick in. But it is quite a quick temperature bath as it drops in temp. So we'll leave that now for five, 10 minutes and see what temperature we get down to. So we've had the drop calibrator running for a little while now and you can see that it gets down to negative 37.8 degrees. We are in an, in an air conditioned room at the moment, so as I said before, the maximum, or sorry, the minimum temperature for this bath is negative 30. So we've warmed the oil back up to get rid of the ice. we we'll turn the unit off and we're now going to put our dry block in. So first thing we do is remove the cage obviously. Then we use our syringe to get our oil out and put it back into the unit. Okay, now the oil's all gone. Use our magnetic pickup. Pick up our stirrer. Now, if we like, we can give this a wipe out with some paper towel or some rag. Now we can put our dry block in and it is now a dry block calibrator. So it's a pretty versatile unit. Uh, best of both worlds, liquid and dry block. If you'd like any more information on the Druck range of temp baths and temperature calibrators, feel free to jump on our website, www.instrowest.com.au or give us a call on 089500 9120.